Hello everyone and welcome to Educers Clinics Small Talk series where we discuss some key topics related to your day to day surgical practice. So in today's topic we are going to discuss how to simplify the Barcelona Clinic Liver Cancer Staging System or the BCLC Staging System as it is commonly known. So as we all know there are multiple staging systems of hepatocellular carcinoma however bclc is the most commonly used staging system but when you first see the algorithm of bclc it looks a bit scary and many people find it difficult to remember so what we are going to do is we are going to simplify this for you and we are going to do this using the previous video that is the video which showed you how to assess a patient of hcc so if you have not seen that video kindly see that video again so as we discussed in that video the bclc uses the same method to classify the patient of hcc for different treatment options so bclc also relies on the liver function patient performance status and the disease extent so disease factors patient factors and the functional status of the liver these are the three factors that determine the bclc stage and the designated treatment so now when we see this is what we had discussed in the previous video so now bclc is going to be very easy for you so liver function patient performance status and the extent of disease are the three things that you need to know to assign the stage of the hepatocellular carcinoma in a patient so now it is very easy for you so let us see the bclc algorithm so when the liver function is child turcot per class a and the patient performance is ecog 0 or 1 and the disease extent is single tumor less than 2 cm which is no negative and no metastasis then this is taken as bclc 0 or very early stage disease and the options for this stage are curative so what are the curative treatment options for hcc they are resection transplant and ablation so these are the only three curative treatment options for hepatocellular carcinoma we will be seeing the treatment in a separate small talk but this is just to give you an overview in a simplified way of bclc right so for very early stage curative treatment is possible in the form of liver resection liver transplant and ablation and these are patients with preserved liver function and performance status and early disease in the form of tumor less than 2 cm single with no nodes and no metastasis now again when the same criteria are applied but now the child turcot plus class is a or b performance status is same ecog 0 and 1 and the tnm changes that there is a single lesion of any size or up to 3 tumors but the tumor should be less than 3 cm in size no negative and no metastasis then this comes in bclc a which is early stage disease and again in this stage curative treatment is possible which is again determined based on what we discussed in the previous video in the form of portal hypertension bilirubin levels and ascites and curative treatment can be offered to bclc a patients or the early stage disease in the form of liver resection liver transplant and ablation so now again going with the same criteria of liver function patient performance status and disease extent when the child turcot pug class is a or b patient performance status is 0 and 1 but now the tumor is beyond the previous criteria where there are more than 3 lesions or less than 3 lesions but the tumor size is more than 3 cm with no negative and metastasis is not there then this comes in intermediate stage of bclc or bclc b this is the most tricky stage of bclc to manage which we will see in future when we discuss hepatocellular carcinoma but 
in this stage the options are predominantly non curative unless we go to the extended criteria of liver transplant and the aim in this stage is control of disease in the form of trans arterial chemoembolization or radioembolization and the various drugs that have come in for hepatocellular carcinoma including immunotherapy and targeted therapy so that is the treatment option for bclc b going ahead when the liver function is still child class a and b but now the performance status of patient is a bit worsening and the disease has portal vein invasion or it is node positive or there are multiple lesions in liver or outside liver in the form of metastasis then this is the patient which is bclc c or advanced stage and these are the patients where the selection of drug depends on the child class so the most of the drugs that are available can be used in child class a and b and this is that is why bclc has divided this class advanced stage from terminal stage which is bclc d so bclc c you can still control the disease now the option of trans arterial radioembolization is coming up in this class however in presence of portal vein invasion trans arterial chemoembolization is contraindicated so predominantly the treatment of this bclc stage is using drugs now when the liver function is child class c or performance status is poor and disease extent now does not matter because the patient is not fit for management as child c you can't give drugs operating advanced liver resections are not possible and poor performance status patients are high risk for surgery so most of these patients don't turn up for treatment so this is bclc d or terminal stage and the treatment is nothing more than keeping the patient comfortable however there are a few series coming up including a series from our group where we have operated patients with microscopic portal vein invasion as well as in child b and c but these are patients who are with a very stringent selection criteria a lot of pre operative optimization and high volume centers so for exam and for bclc staging system child class c ecog more than 2 are patients who can be taken only for palliation so as per bclc the stage 0 and a you can give curative treatment for intermediate stage you can give embolization which is more effective than the drug for advanced stage with preserved liver function up to child b or good child b drugs can be offered however beyond this the most of the patients will fall into category d where best supportive care is the treatment advice now this classification is important because as you go from 0 to d the survivals are also affected in a way that 0 a the survival chances above 5 years are 30 to 40% which become 2 years in bclc b and from bclc b to bclc c the survival again reduces so from more than 5 years in 0 and 8 at a 30 to 40% chance of survival this reduces to 2 to 5 years 30 to 40% survival in bclc b to around 1 year survival in 30 to 40% patients in bclc c and sadly only around 3 to 6 months survival in 30 to 40% patients in bclc d so that is why bclc staging is most commonly used because it helps in treatment allocation it helps you to plan the patient assessment properly and it also gives an estimate of the prognosis so this is why bclc is important in your practice and i hope that this video helps you to practically use bclc in your clinics 
as well as in your exams thank you